you think about it, Motor City Machine Guns and the team from Dragon Gate, Naruki Doi, Masato Yoshino, almost mirror images when it comes to their in-ring style. This is the first time that Doi and Yoshino have appeared on United States national TV, both members of Dragon Gate's World One group. And as a team, they are known as Speed Muscle. Speed Muscle, I'll tell you what, what a combination. Alex Shelley right there using the legs to ground, but I mean, look at the quickness already that you can see. And when you look at the two teams, I mean, you really can see the similarities just even before they locked up. You know what I mean, Mike? I mean, they really do have those same styles. And I'll tell you something, I, I mentioned it when, when the Motor City Machine Guns came down that ramp. This is just one of the neat things about TNA wrestling. And look at this guy. Look at Yoshino flying off these ropes. Oh, and he comes in and drop kicks Chris Saban. You know, his nickname, Speed Star, and you just saw it. Is that incredible the way he was running the ropes? Whoa, but you saw there that Chris Saban was ready for him as he caught him with a kick. It's like someone moved the fast forward button on this match. You know what I mean? Watch, I mean, watch oh, this double God. team right here from the guns. Oh, nice move there, Shelly. And then Chris Saban takes the knee, and look at that. He pulls back on the head and the drop kick right to the face. Caught him with that facial. Quick follow cover here by Shelly with the lateral press, but Masato Yoshino able to power out. Crowd already getting into this, and a great crowd here tonight in the Impact Zone. And I tell you what, it's about the competition. You think about it with the Olympics coming up later on this year. Look Perfect at that. timing, and look at Yoshino. I mean, he just spun around and just... Yeah, revolutions all around into that octopus-style submission hold. You see that Naruki Doi comes into play as well, tossing Saban all the way out to the concrete here on the floor. Well, there's the muscle. There's the muscle. A speed muscle, no doubt. What I was going to say is you see the great double team. Yoshino kind of reminded you of uh, Sanjay Dutt. I just know how quick he is around there. And now look at Yoshino. Wow. wow. I mean, he got, that elevation? he was like in the lights, and he came down on the arms. Wow, they are showing an athleticism. They're going to be tough to beat. There is no doubt about it. And you just see that they exude this confidence in the ring. Double team with a back elbow. They flip Shelly back up on his feet. Going to try and send him off into the ropes. Oh, my. They take out his legs, and then you see Yoshida with the drop kick right into the head. I'm telling you what, the Motor City Machine Guns have never been in that ring with a team this fast. Never. Well, I can tell you that these two, Naruki Doi and Masato Yoshino, they've held every championship in the Dragon Gate promotion, from the world title, the tag team titles, and even two members of the six-man tag teams. Look at Doi there as he's using the arms and the legs. He's got Alex Shelley's legs going two different directions. He's got the arm pulled back. I mean, he is just stretching him in positions the body's not meant to. And then he lets it go and goes right back in it for the pin. Shelly able to power out, and what you can see right there that the Motor City Machine Guns, Don, were a little bit dazed at this point in this matchup. Well, it's, it's amazing because one thing we talk about the guns is their confidence together, how they work so well, but I mean, you're seeing some of the same things that the guns do coming at you from Machine and Doi, and now look at this. They're just doing the double, wow! He came off the ropes into a somersault, and he and, just landed right over. And two count only. You know, we talked about this being the U.S. national TV debut for these two Dragon Gate wrestlers, Doi and Yoshino. But they are globetrotters. They have wrestled in Japan, England, China, and Mexico, and now they're here in the U.S. with TNA. What an addition they are. Well, they have the momentum on their side. I mean, it's unreal. Alex Shelley trying to find some way to get it back, and that's one way, as he said, Yoshida all the way out of the ring, and then able to counter against Doi, and here he goes, and he gets the tag in to save it, and look at him come in, and here comes the muscle. A series of, of the shots. Guns. Chris Saban catching both Doi and Yoshino. You see him tossed off into the corner. It will flip over, then the inverted atomic drop for Yoshino. Attention turns to Naruki Doi, and there's a, an atomic drop for him. Crashes into his own tag partner. Oh, this World X Cup is going to be incredible, Don. You're going to see singles matches, tag matches, an elimination tag, and you are going to see the return of Ultimate X. This is just a preview. What we're looking at right here, a preview of what's going to start next week on Impact. And Chris Saban now going high, feeling good, springboard, and what a close line. Here, here it is. Come on. Two. Oh, man. A saddle right in there just in time, but Alex Shelley, a kick to the gut, and sends him back out of the ring. Now, let's see the guns with a little double team move here on Doi. Look at Doi. Oh, my. Communication problems there between Saban and Shelley. Quick, takes 
breaks him up. Brainbuster style suplex and the quick tag right into Yoshino. I'm telling you, this thing has been back and forth, back and forth. The guns seem to get the momentum back for a second, but it's just amazing here how Yoshino would go. Look at the speed! Look at the moves! You're seeing things you've never seen! That's the reverse tarantula, and then the drop kick right into the chest of Chris Saban. Boy, what a debut here on U.S. National TV for this tag team. Oh, Alex Shelley comes in though with the top, and then Yoshino with it to the back, and it's now just become a slugfest, and now Shelley trying to get it off the turnbuckle, but one after another hit him in the corner. Oh! Doy goes right after Saban, who's kind of stuck in a tree of one shot, and then look at wow. the drop kick. <laughs> a feeble extension in the air. Missile drop kick off the top. Two. Yoshino pinned for a near fall. Wow! Impact Zone absolutely rocking with this World X Cup preview. It's Yoshino and Saban squaring off. Yoshino off the ropes. Shelly comes in, takes the blow for his own partner. Well, that works out that way. Chris Saban able to get ready for him. Sends him to Alex Shelly. Here he comes. Oh, nice combination. Double team moving in. Look at that. Climbs up the back of Shelly with the drop kick that takes the rookie door down to the floor. Guns on fire. Double super kicks. I'm telling you, that was simpatico. I mean, it was like one and it's done. Your winners, the Roller City Machine Guns. Ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed just a taste of what you're going to see in the World X Cup coming to TNA. This thing could go a while. I can't wait. These two teams, amazing, magical matches that they can just put on. Look at the focus there on Robert Roode and James Storm. And you can just feel, you can just sense the anticipation here in the Impact Zone, the whole effing show edition of Impact. And this crowd's just dying to see the guns and beer money settle it once and for all. Look at you just such on something as simple as an arm ringer. How James Storm just wrenched the arm of Chris Saban. Right, well, you don't want to get too overzealous in this thing, especially if you're beer money with a team that's as quick and I'm sorry, slick and quick as the guns. You know, when with every matchup between these two teams, you know, this rivalry, it's all of a sudden turning into Yankees, Red Sox, Dodgers, Giants. Yeah. Well, you could say Ohio State versus Michigan. Or Texas versus Oklahoma. I mean, that's what this thing is turning into. I agree with you in regards to the robbery. And in my opinion, it's a stalemate here, stalemate. Taz, in my opinion, this is the best series of tag team matches that I've ever seen. And you know what? Maybe it's the best series, period, tags or singles ever. No argument for me. Listen to our live audience here in the Impact Zone. Big time behind Alex Shelley of the Machine Guns. And I think the reason for the reaction, these fans have seen the four previous matches, and maybe that match at Victory Road, where the Guns finally broke through and finally became TNA World Tag Team Champs for the first time. Great exchange. Shelley oh, momentarily gets the best of it off the chops before Rude breaks the eyes. Well, the, you know, the key is, I mean, this is two out of three falls. In my opinion, you want to try to get the first fall. You want to try and get that first pin of submission early to keep, you know, get momentum going for your team. Who, which team will do that? We don't know. We'll find out here. Tilt the world, tilt the world, and that head scissor. Shelly, sharp as a tap. Boy, sense the confidence on the guns. The look on the face of Alex Shelly. Oh. Lighten up the chest of Rude. That time, it's a tilt a world backbreaker by Rude. Directly into the pin for two. And Robert Rude, he just, you know, he, he doesn't rush into moves. His transition from move to move is so crisp. That standing switch right there for the tag. Into the roll of the Saban. Right. Save, save it's legal. Yep. I don't, I don't believe that Rude realized that. Double team. Storm squashed with the double kick. Inverted atomic drop for Rude. Saban takes out the knee. And then the unprotected face of Rude is caught with the Saban drop kick. Here's the pin, Saban on top. Fever pitch reaction. 
tonight for the whole effing show here in the Impact Zone for this match five in the best of five series. Well, if you don't realize how important the first fall is for, for either team, <laughs> if you just remember a few seconds ago how quick Chris Sabin tried to get the victory. It's very important to get that first that first fall. I'm telling you. What an incredible impact broadcast this whole effing show has been to this point. Promises even more wait, wait. surprises with Hulk special surprise RVD versus Abyss for the world oh. title as all of a sudden Beer Money with the double team and they take control of this match. Stairway to Janice, RVD and Abyss ladder leads to that sick weapon. It's legal use tonight. Eric Bischoff, special referee, and that is still to come tonight on Impact. Well, now this is what Beer Money I think needs to do is try to keep Chris Saban in that corner. And Tag Team Wrestling 101 cut the ring in half. Look at that stomping. Storm stomping on Saban's hands and fingers. Vicious. Gotta love it, man, by any means necessary. Talked about how important in terms of momentum winning the first ball is gonna be. But think of how important it is. It's just magnified by the fact that there's no rest period between the falls. Oh yeah, there's no chance to regroup. I mean, it just shows. No chance to recharge those whoa, batteries. Whoa, whoa, that's exactly right. Series of double team moves, just one after the other. Punctuated by the rude knee drop before Shelly comes in for the save. Well, he put it. Shelly poked while Robert Rude in the eyes and Beer Money, early goals of the match, each Storm and Rude both poked a member of the guns in the eyes, so turnabout's fair play. Block of the right hand by Saban as Rude tried to connect. Series of strikes by Saban. Leads to an attempt to drive Rude to the corner, but it's reversed. Saban floats over. Down and tries to make the tag to Shelly, but gets cut off. Beautiful Insegura right there. And you hear our live audience here showing their respect a moment ago with a chant of this is wrestling. And you ain't lying, because it is. <laughs> Phenomenal. I dare you to find something like this somewhere else on TV, anywhere all week. Trust me, you're not going to. No, you're not. You can look all you want. You're not going to find anything like this series between the guns and beer money. Beautiful Watch Shelly. this. Shelly could be the first fall. No, broken up at the last second. One little minor thing if Shelly was able to do it, but he should have tried to chuck James Storm out of the ring, but he couldn't. He might have got the victory there. Or I should say the fall victory. Catapult. Ooh. Oh, but Shelly reacts by catching Storm with a forearm shot. Well, oh, I never anticipated that. Oh, Shelly baited Storm in and he came right in. He's setting him up oh because God. Saban cut the drop kick off the top missile stop. Here's two. You see that DDT and now Robert Roode's neck. Leg sweep by Saban takes down Storm and enables oh. Shelly for the double foot stomp. Oh, but he never saw that big boot from Roode. What a and match. My God, this what is just match. the first fall, Taz. It's unbelievable, man. Up the back of oh. Shelly. It's a Saban drop kick, and there goes Rude to the floor. Both guns are looking good, while Beer Money's not looking too good. What the hell's gonna happen now? Oh, they come at him from two oh. different angles. Guys That's... in the truck, please, we gotta see a replay of this. Look at this. Almost like misdirection, cross bodies. Oh my God, amazing. Now, Rude rolled back in. Saban up in the apron. Storm tries to cut him off. Uh oh, oh Saban oh, in a precarious position and gets dropped directly down on his face right on the apron and that's the, has the hardest part of the ring, that's right? That's exactly right, the apron is the hardest part of the ring. Shelly up to the corner, but Rude quickly makes his way up to the top. Can Shelly put him away and win Whoa. the first ball? Alex Shelly! Double foot stomp, Rude rolls out of the way. Oh! Oh my! Double team, Storm stabs him in the back, sets him up. Oh yeah, DWI! Gonna get him! Gonna get him. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the first fall, Beer Money!
the second fall begins right now. Oh, Go for a cover. Go for a cover. Small, small, huge advantage for Beer Money, gaining the victory. No rest period. The immediate start to fall number two, and Rude goes right for the pin. That's what you got to do. That's the, the benefit of which te whatever team gets the first fall, which in this instance it was Beer Money. Go for the cover right away. And especially with Shelly in the ring, and Saban was outside, just, just barely making his way up to the apron at this point. They've got the potential here if they can cut off the ring to keep Shelly on their side and put him away and win the second fall, win the series, and win the tag team titles. Oh yeah, it looks like looks like beer money. They kind of got Alex Shelley picked out right now as a sacrificial lamb, and they could just basically do whatever the hell they want to do. Better watch Shelley, don't. Shelly's gonna make that tag. These guys are celebrating over here, beer money. They don't realize what happened. Dual drop kick. One late for Storm, one for Rude. As Saban connects missile style off the top. Quickness of Saban. Oh, oh and then God. Rude sandwiched with the double kicks. Tag, Shelly's legal. Oh my God, look at the guns here. Robert Rude's neck, look at his neck. Cross body off the top, two, three, and they get it to even it up at 1-1. One, one. The winners of fall number two, the Motor City Machine Guns. The third and final fall begins right now. Here we go, third fall. Well, whichever team wins this next fall will be the TNA World Tag Team Champions. Oh, the offense was on the side of the guns before Saban gets cut off. Beer Money's got something planned. Reed elevates his own partner, Storm, directly onto Shelly. Well, that was Saban, actually, now. It's, it's Shelly with the shot in the ring on Rude. Oh, my God, a suicide dive by Alex Shelly. Well, the Rude didn't even know what the hell happened to him. Look at Rude, look at Rude! Ladies and gentlemen, we've got to take a break, but don't go anywhere. We're going to record all the action while we're away. More of the third fall that will decide the series and the titles when we return to the whole effing show. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Oh, this is the third. This is the deciding fall. Best of five series, Motor City Machine Guns, Beer Money Incorporated. Who leaves the impact zone with the TNA yes. World Tag Team titles? Oof! Shelly got driven. This might be it. How close was that? Holy smokes. We are in that mode of the match where it's sudden death, sudden victory. This is the third fall, and everything is at stake. Everything's on the line here when it comes to the TNA World Tag Team titles as well as the bragging rights for this best of five series. One, two, Well, that's the key, you know, if Beer Money can now, I mean, look, you can just see that all these high-octane moves by Al Shelley and Chris Saban, they might be worn out right now, Mike. Back this is, like you said, the third and final fall. Back-to-back -back corner clotheslines by Beer Money. And I mean both shots, both of those lariats with impact on Shelley and now Storm Jax's jaw. Yeah, there's not much fight back in Alex Shelley right now. Oh my God, look at James Storm here. Look where he's going. Going up in the high risk area there, baby. Tennessee Cowboy up Ooh. on top. Maybe he shouldn't have drank that last beer before this match. Gets knocked down directly into the tree of woe by Shelly. Oh, God. What an amazing over that ring shot by our director here. That was awesome, an awesome view of what we just had there. Alex Shelley maybe leveled the playing field right there, Mike. Boy, it felt like you were right inside the ring. What a great shot that was. The double boots to the chest to Storm. Saban legal at the same time, so is Rude. Saban, like the proverbial house of fire. Gonna 
try and follow up the edge that he's got, but he's instead reversed and shot into the corner. Able to get the boot up. And then Saban comes right in room and so snaps off the hurricane run. Look at that Chris drop kick. kick. He's unreal, man. Basement, a basement drop kick to the yeah. mid storm. Just non-stop. Can't tell we're excited. Huh? Springboard, springboard to the DDT. Oh, oh, God, he God. spiked him. He dropped him on his head. Yeah. Here we go. Get two. No. Oh. Did, did he get him? He didn't get him. That was just sick. God, Robert Roop really, really landed in a bad way on his top of his skull. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if Rude's okay. That's why he's tagging out. I don't. I, tell you, I think Rude got his, Rude got his bell rung big time. Beer money double team. Saban able to float over on Storm. Off the standing switch. Saban catches Rude with the boot. Then Storm with the elbow. Oh, caught Rude with the kick. Oh, it was cool, man. Uh oh. Oh. Shelly tells Saban, cover him, cover him up the double team. Two. He's got him. Oh, uh -uh. This is incredible. This amazing deciding match in the best of five series between Beer Money and the Motor City Machine Guns, and you're damn right it's awesome. Super kick by Storm, but Saban instead caught Storm on the way. Oh. There it is, double R spine buster by Rude. Watch the catapult. Into the oh, DDT. Man. Saban down. Saban, yeah. Saban. Shelly gonna go for slice bread in the corner. Countered, countered by Beer Money. Look at this fight. Oh, oh. You see his neck whiplash. And the impact of the blow to the throat of Shelly. Both members of the guns down. Beer Money standing tall. Shelly doubled over with the boot. Gonna go double team again. Kind of lost him for a second. He's trying to fight it out. And he did. Saban, what a hell of a job there. Used the free leg to kick off. Oh, went for the last call. Back he on. his own partner. Oh. Then Storm gets sandwiched with the dual kicks. You can feel it, Mike. Oh, come on, baby. You can come feel on, it. baby. Shelly to the top. There it is. Shot. So am I. I thought he had it. A rocking impact zone for this whole Edmund show. Third and deciding fall. Who's going to win the series? Who's going to win the TNA World Tag Team titles? Look at Shelly. Watch Shelly here. yesterday so many great TNA fans Taz meeting us from all over the world and tonight it's that big event this is the one that we've been waiting for it's finally here it's bound for glory and here we go yeah you see right there all over Al Shelley and you can point out the next situation with Shelley not just Shelley Mike Saban also at the hands of Jen Me, I'm telling you these two young men generation me the challenges they've been going for blood the knife edge chops by Shelly. Turn the tide, put the guns in control. But 
Max Buck. Oh, nice. Tries to go for the offense. Cut off immediately by Shelly. Leg sweep. Follow up forearm shot. And that's oh, the, they just pinballing back and forth. Well, that's the key with the. Oh, look at that. With the Motor City Machine Guns, how quick. Quick cover. In rapid fire fashion, they follow up maneuver after maneuver, hence why the guns are the champions. Ooh. Shelly uses his partner Saban's boots as a weapon. Shoots Max Buck into the corner, and now yep. this is what we've seen from the guns. Their rise to the top, the good quick tags, always keeping their yeah, opponents well, at a disadvantage, and now they're cutting off the ring. Well, That's one way to do it also. And I believe Alex Shelly is the legal man but he did tag himself in on Saban's thigh. At least that's what it looked like. But these guys don't stop moving. Yep, that's it. Shelly is the legal man because he did tag himself in. We got a pin. pin two. Unique pin attempt by Shelly. Gains a near fall after they took Jeremy Buck down off the ring apron and then totally turned their attention to Max. Yeah, and it was always, you know, in the beginnings of Generation A coming into TNA, there was kind of a mutual respect be between the guns and Gen Me. But that kind of went away. And you could see the most of the machine guns. Big time revenge in mind. Oh, yeah, the mutual respect between these two teams completely gone, especially when it came to the injury attempts by Generation Me on the guns. Yeah, they were effective, Mike. Oh, they were. Those double team DDTs that we've seen, initially on Shelly back at No Surrender, but that was after the match was over. Then what they did to Saban recently on Impact, but it looks like Alex Shelly, Chris Saban, well, they are back at as close to 100% well, as they're gonna be. Well, I agree, but but I'll tell you what, there's one little one little kink there. I had a little conversation earlier today. Oh, oh God. God. I'll get into that in a second. Saban, that was about a 30-yard punt. Football Sunday. <laughs> Ooh. Off the inverted atomic drop. Saban follows up. Perfectly placed drop. Oh, man. Oh, man. oh, Shelley exposes the head and face of Max Buck for the Saban drop kick that's right on the money. I told you they were exciting. And they're not done, folks. Here comes the champs. Oh, the double suicide dive. And the champions totally in control in the opening minute. Of show respect for the Motor City Machine Guns for that awesome offense. As I was saying, Mike, I was trying to say earlier, I had a conversation earlier today with Alex Shelley about saving. And I do know for a fact, watch his cross body, right into the pin, two, no. That Saban had several tests done on his, ne on his neck late this week. I think as, as, of, as, of, as, of, as of early, I should say, as of this past Friday. So, um, we got to see if that, if anything goes down here with Chris Saban in that neck. First, the outside in shoulder block by Shelly. Then he drops the neck of Jeremy Buck across the top steel cable. Whoa, Watch whoa. out for Max. Unbeknownst to referee, Brian Hebner trying to get Saban out of the ring. Oh, God. This is what we saw. My this is oh. The move that, that sideline Alex Shelly. That, that double team DDT. Back at No Surrender, they did it out on the arena floor. Tonight, they drive him down head first. Well, the, right face, into the canvas. face of Jeremy Buck tells the story, man. He smells that blood. He smells the blood for him and his brother. It's like a shark that smells that blood and water, and he's going to go for that gusto, kid. The cocky attitude of Generation Me on display. Open hand slaps from Jeremy Buck to the face of Shelly. He just dared Shelly to answer. Alex did. Look at that. Oh, right in the back of the neck. What a spinning kick. You're right. Again, you saw where it was targeted. Saving in for the save. Yeah, that, that definitely the intentions. How quick did Jeremy Buck think with that jumping high round kick to the back of the neck of Alex Shelly? Those bad intentions still on the minds of Generation Me. Look at these guys, look at this. Sandwich Shelly with the drop kick. Mike, how are you not a fan of Generation Me? These kids are amazing. In terms of their in-ring ability, absolutely a fan. Here's the quick cover, Max Buck for two. So in saw... terms of their attitude, no thank you. Well, it's a winning attitude. It's that it's that positive mental attitude, PMA, as some call it. Yeah, positive mental <laughs> attitude. It's all about entitlement. It's all about us, and it's all about 
what they can do for themselves, whether it comes to stealing the TNA World Tag Team titles instead of earning them, it doesn't matter to Generation Me. Here's another double team. Oh, God almighty. The challenges might become the new champions here. Well, I don't know, I'll tell you, if I was Jeremy, I might have went for a cover after that. I have to admit, I'm, 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 I'm going to agree with you, especially now that he's, he's, he's trying to neutralize Shelly, working on the head. Well, that could be the inexperience of Generation Me, and again, to the back of the neck, Max Buck with a high kick. Referee didn't see that either. They're quicker, they're quick in their, uh, in their Tom Fullery, wouldn't you say? Wow, focus of the... The offense for the challengers, we've seen it from the outset. Oh Once they turned this match whoa, around, whoa, 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 the way they've worked on Shelly and his neck. Tippy top, tippy top rope here, Mike, maybe going. Alex going. him off. Oh! Max Buck trying to hold Shelly to stay on the top to no avail. Jeremy Buck's in trouble. Double foot stomp off the top. Man, if that's not going to shatter your rib cage and Tear apart a couple of abdominal muscles. I don't know what will. Gonna hurt the wind aspect for Jeremy Buck as well. Well, well, well here's the deal, man. Shelly's gotta get Chris Saban in this match. So close. Max Buck's legal. Saban as well. Look at that high flyer for him. Look at how fast, how quick Chris Saban is. Good God, you hear that thud? Man, it was nasty. Hesitation, elbow in the corner. And now gonna tie Max up in the tree of woe. Oh, Shelly's got him lined up, he's got him in his sights. He wants to be shot into him. Oh my God, First, almost knocked his head yeah, off. Baseball slide, oh. and then the hesitation drop kick. Holy crap! How about oh. that angle? Oh, the guns are coming at Generation Me from every conceivable angle. God. This is just sick. Oh, we can already tell you there's no place you can find it besides TNA. Nobody has a tag team division like TNA. Nobody has these incredible action-packed matches on. Oh. Yeah, and uh, Max Buck had nobody to tag. But his brother was licking his wounds on the outside. Saban and Shelly on the same page. Oh, my God. What the hell was that? Saban cover. Here we go. Here's two. Hey. Tip your cap right there to Jeremy Buck making a save right there. Desperation move for Generation Me. It pays off. Stopping the Ooh, guns before wow. they get the three count. Another kick to the head of Shelly. And oh, oh. Saban runs right up the back of his partner. Drop kicks Jeremy Buck to the floor. Here comes Shelly. Oh, went slingshot. Oh, my God. Oh, what a thud that was. Crash and burn on the outside. Oh, my God. And a naked head again, Mike. Slingshot face jam. Then Jeremy with the double sledge on Alex Shelly outside. Oh, God. Saving planet. He's got him. Two new champs. Oh. That was pretty close. Look on the face of Max Buck, tells the entire story. Well, yeah, right there, Max Buck cannot lose his cool. You gotta keep your composure. This is where inexperience could hurt these guys. They gotta kinda chill here. Again, oh, my God. Whoa, the double-team DDT attempt. Shelly in. German. Blocks and breaks it up. What a German suplex. Saban rushes Max into the corner. Shelly drills him from outside, from the apron with the kick, the enziguri to the back of the head. Oh my God, this, this pay-per-view just kicked off. This is our first match. This is nuts. Oh! As the guns went to set up for double team out of a corner, Jeremy takes down Shelly. Oh, Max snaps the neck of Saban and, and takes him face first right oh. into the canvas, and then Jeremy takes out Shelly on the far side. Remember what I told you, Saban had some issues with his neck this week, had some testing done, and you could see Generation Me is pinpointing the neck of Chris Saban. Excellent strategy by the challenges. Saban in trouble here. Oh my God, what the oh hell? No. He's got Jeremy it. Jeremy hits, Max pins, Shelly saves. Shelly saw it coming. 
Amazing, tremendous maneuver. Two for the price of one for Alex Shelley. That was impressive. Shelley rolls save into the corner so that he can tag. <laughs> Referee Hebner says that's legal. Does that really matter yeah. at this point or what? <laughs> Shelley wants no question about the legality if he gets the pin and the win. From the top, double foot stop again. Yeah, forward Nobody roll home. Through, yep. Shelley was, oh, able to forward roll, got caught in the head, since then a drop kick. Oh, my God. Jeremy gets turned inside out with the Saban clothesline. Then Saban taken out to the arena floor. Bodies flying all over the ocean center. Whoa! Oh, oh, Shelly lands on his feet, but then gets taken down immediately by Max. Oh, oh, God! Max on top, here's two! God, how close was that? I think he was pinned, Mike, come on! Boy, repeatedly, Generation Me on the verge of victory, on the verge of becoming TNA World Tag Team Champions for the very first time. Look at the frustration on the face of Max Buck. They've done everything but beat the guns. Oh, Jeremy Buck. What the hell is he going to do now? Look at that. 450. 450 splash. Here comes Max. Wait, here comes Saban. Oh, no way. Don't do it. He did. Holy crap. Good God. A release, release German suplex from the top. The top. you got to be kidding me. That was nuts. That was nuts. Gun set up in the corner. Shelly gonna go high risk. There it is. Cross body. Here's one. Here's two. Skull and Bones gets him the win. Come here to the match. And still, TNA World Tag Team Champions, the Motor C Machine Gun. Exhibit 1A in how you kick off your biggest pay-per-view of the year. And this is about retaining the championships and retiring Team 3D if you're the guns. And this is about Brother Ray and Brother Devon winning the World Tag Team Championships for the 24th time and retiring as the champs. That's what it's about in the referee Brian Hebner's hands right there. I love the way that the guns framed this situation, Taz. They said it's going to be a matchup of the best tag team today versus the best tag team ever. Uh, I, I think that's dead on. Motor City Machine Guns. And listen, the big story out of seeing this match is it's the end of a, an amazing era, an amazing career, an amazing tag team run for the best tag team in the history of our business, Team 3D. The backdrop, in my opinion, though, should not be the champions. I I'll tell you, if I'm the guns, I want to go out and prove a damn point and win this match. Not just to retain my titles, but to retire the best. Resume for Team 3D, Brother Ray, Brother Devon. Certainly unprecedented as we see that mutual respect that we had just talked about shown there with the pre-match handshake between Alex Shelley, Brother Devon. 15 years as a team, 23 world championship reigns. Hey, I mean, we're talking about ECW, WWE, WCW, oh, Japan, TNA, just... all throughout Japan, multiple promotions in the Orient. There's really nothing more for Brother Ray and Brother Devon to, to prove, and, and I, I get their point on that. I mean, I'm sad to see that they're, they're gonna hang them up. I really am, I'm sad to see that. I'm sad to hear that, I'm sad to hear it. Uh, uh, but to me, I don't, I still, and I said it from the beginning of this whole issue with these two teams here, I don't know what the guns have to gain that much. I, I would not put my titles on the line against a team like Team 3D that can just win titles on an, any time they want, more or But less. If, if, if you want to be known as a fighting champion, Taz, and I know you've been in that position before, yeah. you, you really want to be the team that would duck no, a shot? I got one for you better, a little bit better than that, Mike. You know what's better than a fighting champion? Go ahead. A, a champion. champion. Yeah. Right. So that's that's my yeah. point on that. But you know what? We have it here. It is awesome. This is going to be an awesome match. I'm going out here and saying that. I, I, you know, I think you would agree on that, Mike. 
Oh, no question. It's, you know, certainly one of the matches tonight that I've really been looking forward to at Turning Point. Shelly off the float over, able to catch Devon, first with the boot, and then sends him off into the ropes, but Devon goes airborne. Caught him that time. Swap by Devon, high impact stuff right there. Goes for a quick cover, forcing Shelly to exert energy to kick out. And Alex Shelly, folks, he's got a lot of energy, man. <laughs> Taz, if, if time permits here in this matchup, if, if you at some point can explain the role that you played in helping formulate Team 3D originally some 15 plus years ago. Oh uh, yeah, I know, it wasn't just myself. I mean, it was, uh, well, we'll get into that in a second. Let's watch Chris Saban here. He's going to work, Devon's in trouble. Look at Shelly, oh. Devon got himself out of harm's way. That's a veteran right there, buddy. Following up, taking out both members. And here comes Big Boy. Oh, look at that. Oh, 3D a little early. Shaven put the brakes on, got out. Just that close, Saban shows Brother Ray. You almost had me, guys. Well, what, about 15 years ago, what, how Team 3D started, more or less. I mean, it was in Tampa, Florida at a live event when we were in ECW, and it, I was sitting there with Raven and Tommy Dreamer, and we were just joking around about the movie Slapshot. You know, there was the Hanson brothers. Sure. Those, those three brothers, they had the black lashes with no lenses, with the white tape on the nose thing. Remember and very well. We were just saying it'd be funny if there was a team like that in the wrestling business, and then well, we got Paul Heyman involved and things evolved. Right. The next thing you know, hey, Team 3D was invented. Then called the Dudley Boys, and then and, and you know what? It was uh, just amazing to see their careers and the success that Brother Ray and Brother Devon have had for so many years. Very proud of these guys. Look at that springboard. Oh, cross man. body. Hit to perfection. Right on Brother Ray is Saban for two. You know, you think back through the years as Saban gets the speed oh. going and gets cut off. Has there been anybody that's seen more Team 3D matches than you through the years? Uh, there's been, yeah, I've seen a lot of them. I've even had to uh, compete against That's them, true. <laughs> which wasn't fun. Double team leads to a Devon cover, but Shelly in for the save. Yeah, you know, I think that with Devon, when he goes for those covers on uh, one member, there's a tag right there, but Shelly's legal. He tagged himself in, unbeknownst to uh, Devon. Brother Devon right there got dropped, toe hold. Watch, save it! Oh! Point to the elbow right in the spine. And with Devon's head exposed by Shelly, Saban with a drop kick right into the face. Well, the point I was going to make earlier about Brother Devon with those covers, he's putting all his weight on the, uh, you know, the smaller size machine guns when he goes for covers. It's a wear down tactic. Oh, sure as hell is. You're talking 300 pounds. Whoa, 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 watch out here. But 300 pounds that moves out of the way as Shelly went from the top and may have, may have hurt his knee on the way down. And no, like oh, you, you, brother, brother Ray is certainly gonna take advantage of that. Hey, listen, look, you, you get somebody who injures themselves, you see there's a little opening and, you, and he tweaks his knee and right there, got his chin, his jaw on the elbow with that arm bar while the leg is barred. Alex Shelley realizes he is not in a good place with uh, Brother Ray all over him right now. And watch this, oh man, oh my God! Tell you what, Brother Ray almost ripped the leg right out of the socket of Alex Shelley. Nobody home with this big splash. And Shelley senses that it's time to get Saban in. Try and take some of the pressure off that leg. Still whips his partner to the corner. Saban with the flying forearm. Quick recovery by Shelley. Yeah, this is what you don't want if you're Brother Ray. You don't want the guns to start this rapid fire, high impact stuff that they're so, so well famous for, hence why they're the champions. And that's exactly what they're throwing at Team 3D. Here comes Shelly, buddy. Oh my God, oh man. Heard the impact as brother Devon's back Whoa. went into the guardrail. And, oh, Saban goes slingshot on the other side of the ring. Well, yeah, brother Ray deceivingly for such a large man is extremely athletic and very quick. Telling you that from experience, that man is large. He takes up a lot of room and he moves very quick. Oh. And he just moved very quick into the ring post. Face Ooh. first. Saban getting out of the way. 
just in the nick of time as Brother Ray goes right into the steel post, as Taz mentioned. And boy, all, of a, all of a sudden, the, the, the guns who had the, the advantage, Brother Ray. now they've got to get 3D back in the oh, ring. Split open. Yeah, not a surprise. The force, the velocity that he went head first into the steel post, and it has opened up the head of Brother Ray. Yeah, bro oh man, little Brother Ray is right across the forehead. And look at Alex Shelley, smart man. Keep him in the middle of the ring, so don't keep him too close to his partner. Got to get vicious now. Got to defend your titles if you're the guns. And I wouldn't think that Motor City Machine Guns want to play a slugfest striking game with Team 3D, but the guns see the opening. Well, 3D would love that. Look at this, right? You ever wow. see this side of the machine guns? Sticking his finger right in a hole created by the ring post in Brother Ray's head. I like this. I like the side of the guns. Show, show that vicious side by Did any means necessary. You think the realization set in to Saban and Shelley that they need to fight fire with fire in terms of this more, right. more violent, more physical, more power game of 3D. And you're in there defending your titles against a team, the most decorated team in the history of the industry, and they're trying to prove a point on the way out the door? Yep, got to pull out all the stops. Damn right, right buddy. Brother Ray is just, he is bleeding real bad. You can see the sense of urgency for Brother Ray to tag in Devon. Alex Shelley, smart, brings him over to his corner. Saban tags himself in. Frequent tags is the best friend right now of the champions. The basic tag team strategy that, well, Team 3D has used so well to gain their 23 reigns was well, momentarily used against them. You'll see Brother Ray go up to the ropes that often, and quickly it's Saban there to cut him off. Look at the blood. Oh, 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 oh my God. Bob a bomb. A desperation move yeah, but can't. by Brother Ray, but damn it, paid off. Huh? Yeah, but sure as hell did, but can Brother Ray get Devon? Wait, 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 cover, cover, oh, he cover! Has oh. He had his arm draped across the chest. Again, the little nuances. Why? Brother Ray and Brother Devon, Team 3D, 23-time world champions. Brother Ray had the wherewithal to just drape his arm over for maybe a sneaky cover. And both Devon and Shelly are sitting on ready. Shelly's in, Shelly's close, leaving. Close, close, Whoa. Wow. Can't get much closer than that. Nothing wrong with that, folks. You Alex Shelly eliminate the fresh man in Brother Devon. You got Brother Ray. Ooh, ooh. Man. Yeah. That'll buckle your knees, a tag. Been there before, huh, Taz? Yep, not fun. Sucks. <laughs> Round kick to the chest. Man, I tell you, Alex Shelley. Brother Ray leaving the handprint on the chest of one half of the TNA World Tag Team Champs. Another round kick. That one caught Brother Ray in the jaw a bit. Another round kick. What is Shelley daring him to hit him again? I don't like that strategy, Mr. Shelley. <laughs> I'll tip my hat. He's a tough son <laughs> to take those chops. <laughs> well, it's a glory. Right to the back of the Those head. Those got him rocked, but he's still on his feet. Whoa, whoa. Got him. Wow, look at that. Shelly committed himself. Coming off the middle rope. Brother Ray has got to try to get his brother Devon in this match. Brother Ray not moving. Saban knows he needs Shelly to tag him. Tag team titles at stake. Brother Ray got that gaze in his face. Here comes Devon. And here comes Saban. And there goes Saban. Strikes by Devon. Countered wow, look at that by Saban, but then Devon comes right back and puts the shoulder block in. Side slam. Drives here him straight go, here into we go, a here cover we go. for two. See how Brother Devon, no wasted motion, goes right back to Saban for his next offensive move, which didn't work. Saban got the boot up as Devon charged in, but then Saban goes right into the power slam. 
Got to give up. Saving credit, kicking out that short power slam. Giving up a lot of body weight to Brother Devon. Oof. Drop down with the neck breaker. Devon again, the cover, and Shelly for the same. A little poke in the eye action. A little low road from the guns. Hey, you call it low road, I call it an effective road. You call it keeping that title by any means necessary, Damn right? Damn skippy, hippie. Watch out! Oof. Oh, got caught. Oh, my God. Oh. 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 That's when you, that's the that's, size that's, of power, but well, It's one way to counter. The quick tactics of the guns. Oh, my God. And this is an exhibition of the power game that we expect from 3D. Well, Powerful clothesline, and then Devon to the top. Brother Devon's got to do it alone, because Brother Ray's in a bad way on the apron. Flying headbutt. Kicks. Here we go. Oh. His one, his two. Save us. Oof. Brother Devon still. Got to keep this pressure on if he can. Finally, you can see on the apron, Brother Ray get, has gotten to a vertical base, kind of. I think that he takes himself he in. He did. Brother Ray's legal. But a clothesline. Well, I don't know. I, I'm not too sure if, <laughs> if Devon wanted Bubba in because he knows his brother's not in good shape right now. He's going to get it. He's too. Wow. Slam, perfect positioning, dead center in the middle. Pulling out all the trademark, oh, 3D paraphernalia, baby. That's from page one of the playbook. Devon with the what's up after Brother Ray. One final time. I think the champions are in grave danger. This place is rocking. Brother Ray making brother Devon the legal man. Referee Brian Hebner trying to get some control. Good luck, buddy. Brother Ray stacking up the table in the corner. They're going to drive Saban right through this table, Mike. What the hell? Look at that. Holy crap. Oh! Brother Ray crashes and burns. Oh, God! Double super kick. Pin. They did it. They moved. What? Man, I thought that was it. Gun set up for oh, the man. double team. Devon's on his own, buddy. Devon is all by him. Lonesome is lonesome. Shelly measures, hits the cross body off the top, saving the cover. Here we go. Here's two. And just a second away. Look at the frustration in the eyes of Saban. Second away of Team 3D going out and loses. Oh, brother Ray not moving a bit, Mike, in that table. He's out. That enables the guns to put all their effort with the double team here on Devon. What the hell is this? Oh, Ooh. nice counter. Back Shelly up into the corner, does Devon. Oh, oh. oh the don't see that much. Kick. Devon moves oh, out Mike, of the Mike, way. Mike, Mike, look, look. Here it is. 30. That's it, baby. It is one, two. New champs. What the heck? Ha, has, has anybody ever kicked out of 3D? No. I mean, not, not, not for not. 15 freaking years. I've never seen that. I, 3D can't believe it either. Look I, on Devon's face. He kicked out. I cannot believe that. I have never, all these years, seen anyone kick out of 3D. Look, 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 look. look at Brother Ray. He's kind of like all discombobulated. He's just 
I think it's 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 like it's taken them completely out of their game plan here. I mean, 15 well, that was it. years that was the of hitting the, the you're right. 15 years of hitting the move. Oof. Saban DDT. Brother Ray leaves his feet, misses with the elbow drop. He's oh, oh, oh the corner. God. Perfect execution of the super kick. Guns go for the double team again and out of the neck breaker from Saban. It's the close no. body by Shelly. Saban quick cover. Saban leg hook. Brother Ray shoulders are down. And the guns keep the title. The win to the match. And still, TNA World Tag Team Champions, the Motor City Machine Gun. God almighty, what a physical contest. I'll tell you, Motor City Machine Guns in a really tough spot here. Both teams, our fans enjoy both teams. The champions retain in very impressive fashion. Cannot believe they kicked out of freaking 3D. Team 3D, Mike. Done. No championships. It's over. Taz, we've got to go back. We've got to revisit some of the incredible matches. Match action here from our TNA World Tag Team title match. Take it. Oh, yeah, just, I mean, the, the, as we said, the physicality, athleticism that was just unbelievable in this matchup. 3D right there. I mean, that's it. This that's is the, the shocker. End of the match. That's the shocker right there. The I shoulder roll. I, I can't three. believe that. And then it just seemed like Team 3D after that happened, Mike, was thrown off the game, as you said. And Brother Ray ends up getting defeated. The guns retain. Wow. Well, the mutual respect that these two teams had prior to tonight's TNA World Tag Title Match and Turning Point, it's still there. That was a battle. That was that was what we expected it to be. I I I I, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's it's the end. The end of an era, isn't it? An amazing uh, just career for this amazing team. They didn't get a championship for the 24th time, but 23 times that's too shabby, buddy. You're gonna get beat. Get beat by the best. And Team 3D just got beat by the best. Would you say that there are finally two time machines? Uh, I would say the time machines are finally two time machine. I understand what you're talking about. Oh, and I said without Kushida, they're not finally tuned. I'm gonna tell him you said that, Hannafin. Just wait till after the match. Well-oiled machine guns. How do you feel about that? <laughs> No, but seriously, we've talked about it before. You're a former tag team champion in your day. The longtime team versus the team that's compiled of two single stars. And on top of that, their opponents are 24 well, see, hours. And, and that's the real, the real uh, fold here is, look, I, I, I'm a firm believer that two seemingly random on paper partners, if they're two high caliber partners like Bailey and Gresham are, magic can happen. You can find that chemistry very, very quickly. But knowing what you have ahead of you oh, tomorrow cover, right. cover by Shelly, kick out by Gresham. That throws another wrinkle into things. This is, oh, I'm dying to see this. A dragon screw there by Gresham. Gresham and Shelly, they can go speed versus speed pretty well. So Gresham decided, let me just take out your leg and just take that off the table. Well, you talk about going speed versus speed, and you know, with Gresham and Shelly, I think more joint manipulation, uh, submission work, grappling. That's where the strength lies in those two is now Bailey coming in, strike specialist. Yeah. Oh, smash face first into the corner. Remember how this matchup that's gonna go down tomorrow night at the countdown to no surrender. Gresham versus Bailey came about on a series of matches on BTI. First Gresham got a victory and then said he issued an open challenge for no surrender specifically for speedball Mike Bailey. Said he wanted to face the best of the best. A week later on BTI, it was Bailey, who answered and answered emphatically, yes. Tag. You know that one is gonna be good. And I know we're only early days in this matchup, but so far, some pretty nice cohesion here between Mike Bailey and Jonathan Gresham. And we're just getting started here on this edition of Impact Wrestling. Still to come, a pair of challenges, a pair of matches in the Beat the Clock Challenge. Bully Ray and Tommy Dreamer 
Whoever has the fastest time putting away their opponent will have the opportunity to speak first tomorrow night in the first ever live edition of Busted Open and Impact Wrestling History, hosted by Busted Open's Dave LaGreca tomorrow night at No Surrender. Also still to come, Allison Kay of the Hicks will go up against one third of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions, Taya Valkyrie ahead of No Surrender. Also, big tag team clash. Diener and Callahan of the Design take on Frankie Kazarian. He's taking into a cover here, kick out, that two. Kazarian and Yuya Uemura later on tonight, and as I mentioned, the top of the broadcast, this our main event. Monsters Ball for the first time ever is for the X Division Championship. Trey Miguel enters his first Monsters Ball against Crazy Steve, who's kind of made Monsters Ball his home over the years, thanks to the tutelage of the Hall of Famer Abyss. That's gonna be absolutely brutal. I hope Trey Miguel is ready. You know someone like Crazy Steve was born ready for the environment of Monsters Ball. We're having a ball here to get things started here in this tag team matchup. The Impact World Tag Team Champions, also the New Japan Strong Tag Team Champions. The Motor City Machine Guns have found a way to control things against Bailey and Gresham. And this, this is where the lineage of the Motor City Machine Guns coming into play. They, they, that finely tuned tag team dynamic. Tag is paying off Whoa. dividends here for the guns. That left knee is still bothering Shelly from the early goings here in this matchup. Gresham targeted the knee, then Bailey followed up. Now the patented two-on-one offense of the guns. Trying to try speedball. Easier said than done. Guys, you want to talk about speed. Here he is breaking some hearts of the machine guns. Oh. And with some machine gun-like kicks of his own. And now Speedball needs a tag, and he tags in his opponent for tomorrow night at the countdown to no surrender, but his partner this evening, Jonathan Gresham. And, and a surprisingly solid amount of teamwork here between Gresham and Bailey, who, you know, no bad blood there, of course, but there's a lot riding on tomorrow, a lot of pride between two of the best wrestlers going today. Two former world champions here, Saban and Gresham. Battling it out. Ooh. A little bit of strong style on full display here in the impact zone. Now Gresham whipped into the corner. Oh, look at this. Shelly in pursuit. Well, thank you. Oh, oh, look at Gresham. Gresham turned the offense of the guns back on him. Turn the Motor City machine guns there into a rector set. Just connecting one piece to the oh. other and breaking him back down. Dumping Saban. Out into the cover. Gresham oh could have it right here and broken up by Shelly. How quickly did that happen? It, it, it just with the blink of an eye, he can manipulate his opponent into any position he needs. We're now Bailey turning oh. things around on Shelly oh. for a moment. Shelly ate that knee strike, ate the knee breaker, delivered a knee strike of his own. Now Gresham was looking to go back to that knee of Shelly. Up onto the shoulders here, Saban setting up Shelly. Two on one offense. Uh, but look at Saban holding on. The two on one continues here. Oh, oh magic killer. Shades of the Good Brothers. Here's the cover. Oh, and a kick out by Gresham. And that's where the machine guns, they really take over when they can get those multiple double team maneuvers just fired off one after the other. Once again, tag team champions in control. Just an appetizer here to begin things here on Access TV and especially with no surrender one day away. Can't wait to get to Las Vegas and Samstown Casino for all the action. Look at the strength oh. of the octopus. Jonathan Gresham. Your power against Saban. Stalling suplex, and now Gresham knows he needs a tag. Takes a smart wrestler as well to know when to stay in and when to get out of a tag team match. Trying to prevent Saban there, realize he couldn't, so makes a tag to Bailey. Shelly gets the tag as well, and now the offense continuing from Bailey. And now Speedball! Oh, Shelly rolled out of the way. 
Ah, Saban back into the fray here. Oh, Shelly's had a lot of damage done to his left leg. Oh, now has a leg for a leg there for a moment, almost. He was trying, but Bailey breaks free. Now Bailey ties up the legs of Shelly. Oh, now trying to take down both the machine. What is going on here? Oh! oh God! Speedball Mike Bailey takes down both members of the Motor City Machine Guns here. Speedball relentless here. Is Shelly gonna tap out? Got his legs tied up like a pretzel. The legs that have already been damaged by Gresham. But Shelly makes it to the rope. That'll break up the submission attempt there. The damaged left knee especially of Alex Shelly really becoming a problem for the guns. And what a way to kick off impact here on Axis TV. Uh-oh. Face first into the middle turnbuckle. Oh, uh, Saban takes Gresham off the apron. And now we're back down to the machine guns and Bailey, but it is all guns right now. Oh! Quick strike there to Bailey. Remember, Shelly is legal. Time for Skull and Bones, maybe. Hold on a second, Bailey. I would have thwart that disaster. And looking to finish things up. Oh! Moon salt to the outside. Bailey cleaning house. Shelly left sitting on the top rope, though. Still treating that leg rather gingerly. Oh! Blurs a kick there. Oh! Gresham follows up, takes away the base of Shelly. Gresham returning to the leg. Figure four locked in. Gresham not legal was protecting Speedball. Bailey trying to get back so he can make a tag. They say the octopus is one of the smartest creatures in the ocean. You see why here. And now look at Speedball. <laughs> And Speedball directing traffic here. And Speedball, yes, directing traffic. Now Gresham is legal. See, that, that's where the, the tag team continuity of the guns may, may have paid off for them here. And a little bit of hesitation between Speedball and Gresham. Oh, look at this standing switches. How do you keep up with this? With luck. Oh. Lock in a deep breath. Oh, you saw Shelly, they're trying to run. No go. Boots on off the ropes. Oh, and on the outside. Bailey got Saban. Gresham gets Shelly. The action absolutely nonstop. And Gresham and Bailey back on the feet again. These no surrender opponents, Bailey and Gresham are taking it to the longtime tag team of the Motor City Machine Guys. you imagine if this first time ever team and future opponents pin the tag team champions here tonight? Oh! They'd be turmoil. Uh -oh. oh, knees to the ribs of Saban. And look at Gresham. And the figure four secured once again the already injured knee of Alex Shelley. What is Shelley going to do? Shelly trying to twist his body and reverse the pressure. Let's not forget the guns. They've got Bullet Club tomorrow and no surrender as well. Uh, trying to reach out to the bottom rope. Perseverance. Self-preservation on the mind of the guns, but Bailey doesn't care. Shoulders down and Shelly gets up in time. That wouldn't have been the first time Jonathan Gresham has pinned someone here with a figure four leg lock. It almost happened again. Uh, uh, listen, this type of damage, you hit the nail on the head. The time machine versus bullet club tomorrow night and no surrender. Wait, wait. Hold up your time. Oh, oh God! Oh. Saving power bombing Bailey right into Gresham. With no surrender looming, the guns pulling out all the stops to try and get a win here. Oh. For the king, oh, they found it on Bailey. And now Saban. Let's set up to Shelly. Oh, and Gresham takes Saban off his feet. Great wherewithal from Gresham there. Oh, 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 oh. oh. 
Oh, Sabin gets Gresham. Oh! No contact made, but it's enough of an opening for the guns. Oh, he's trying to set up Bailey there. Now look at Gresham. Look at Gresham. Shoulders down on Shelly. Oh, oh, and a kick out. Oh, oh God. Oh, incidental contact between Gresham and Bailey. Cohesion no more for those two. Shelly reaches out to Sabin, who hits a cutter. And now back to the two on scenario that the machine guns like. And a tag made, Saban's legal. It could have just be a matter of time here. Setting up for the dirt bomb. Bailey taken out of the equation. Two on one attack. The guns beat Gresham and Bailey. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners. The Motor City Machine Guns. Look, Gresham and Bailey, opponents tomorrow, they work surprisingly well together but the well-oiled machine guns got it done. All four of these men have made themselves ready now for no surrender. And tomorrow night, we will see the Impact World Championship defended in Vegas.